Now one of the big things to think about when you're dealing with people moving in back pain is Pythagorean's theorem. Does everyone remember this from high school? Grade 10 math class? So what we have is gravity resisting straight down, and the force arm is the distance from the center of gravity. So let's say that this is the center of gravity in my lower back, and I want to bend forward. Is this a further distance, or is this a further distance from the center of gravity? Here versus here. If I was to take a string, put it here, and then put it up to my shoulder, up to essentially my T1 vertebrae, would it be a shorter string here, or would it be a shorter string here? Longer string here, shorter string here, right? Yeah. So if I'm doing any kind of forward bending posture, and I'm really rounding my shoulders to do it, and I'm not getting my hips to do any work, that increases that horizontal distance from the center of gravity. So the further away that is, pelvic spinal position, as well as distance from the weight to the body, if I'm doing my deadlifts with the bar way out here, that's increasing that distance even further, putting more pressure right on that center, that axis of rotation, increasing that horizontal distance. So even at the same amount of weight, I'm lifting more weight. Whereas if I can get the bar closer to me and actually straighten my back up a little bit more, I've now reduced that horizontal distance. I've reduced the resultant force on the lower back. So if you follow it this way, essentially if this is the shorter axis line, if I was to move that line out over here, just to show as a comparison, it's that much force less. It's that much less force. So essentially just by changing the body position, we reduce the resultant force on the lower back, which makes it less prone to injury. Does that make sense? So if we see people that are deadlifting like this, it kind of makes me want to throw hot coffee in my face because it just makes me think back injury. I've got my own back injury. I don't want to have another one. It, they're really not fun. When I was playing football, I dislocated my hip from my spine, tore my quadratus muscle, and bulged three discs along my lumbar spine. So you want to talk about fun? Not fun. Now when we're deadlifting, if we have that shortened lever arm, here's a good spinal position, here's slightly extended. That force of gravity coming down through the shoulders, coming down through the foot. Essentially, the shorter that distance is, the less torque we're putting on the lumbar spine, and the more force we're loading through the hips and through the legs, which are supposed to be doing the work. Now let's say we're trying to do a squat pattern. If you want to reduce the amount of force that's on the spine, doing a back squat causes a bigger difference in that horizontal distance. Doing a low bar squat is going to cause an even bigger distance, especially if we're doing it without getting our knees to track over top of our toes. So do we have to have our knees tracking over our toes to do a squat properly? Yes. Think about ankle dorsiflexion. We need to have ankle dorsiflexion to be able to get hip flexion and knee flexion, right? So look at it doing a front squat. Look at how big that horizontal distance is here. Really small. And another key with the front squat is that people have to get into what position? T-spine extension in order to hold the bar out properly versus here where they all automatically sometimes roll into it in the flexion stance. So if they're in this position, now automatically the spinal mechanics are changed, and a front squat becomes a little bit more valuable to doing back rehab than doing a back squat. So here's that front squat again. So watch what's happening with my spine when I do this. Look at how vertical I'm able to maintain. I'm not really tipping forward like you would see a lot of people do with a back squat. My butt doesn't go way out. I'm still able to get a pretty good workout out of it. Lifting pretty decent weight for myself. I can't really complain too much on that one. But if you look at the spinal mechanics, I was pretty much vertical with it, except for a couple of times where I kick my butt out. So if I'm more vertical and actually loading the weight, that's going to reduce the amount of pressure on the disc, and it's going to reduce the negative impact that disc has. So if we want to get people to train if they have back injuries, front squat's going to be way more valuable for them than a back squat will be. Same thing if you're doing deadlifts, make sure they're not rounding their shoulders, rounding their T-spine, and tucking their butt under. Stick the butt out, pull the shoulders back in the back pockets, and get them learning how to do a hip hinge. That'll save their back a lot more.